Hi everybody, thank you for joining us. We're gonna learn how to mail merge today with Word and Excel. So the first thing you have to do in Excel is you have to make sure that the columns you have here actually are names that you can figure out later on. We're gonna come back and look for these columns as part of what we're gonna merge over to the labels. So make sure you know what these things say. Okay, open up a Word document, go to a blank document and hit create. Next thing we're gonna do is we need to make sure your settings in Word are correct. So go up to Word and we're gonna look underneath the preferences because we have to make a global change here. Under general, click on confirm file format conversion at open. This is also something that's available in the PC Windows world so it'll be in the same spot under general. Okay, back in Word, we're gonna click on mailings and then start mail merge, pick labels. Now Avery makes a number for every label that they make. Pick the number that you have and then click OK. You should get a screen that looks like this. Next, we're gonna go up to select recipients and use an existing list. This is where we're gonna navigate to find that Excel spreadsheet that we were just looking at. Open the Excel spreadsheet and you're gonna get a couple of dialog boxes that you have to work through. Go ahead and work through those or else this won't work. Now, this is showing us the Excel spreadsheet, but it's also showing us the sheets inside of the Excel spreadsheet. I picked Infant Local Roseville, and we're gonna select the entire worksheet. Go ahead and hit, hit OK. This is where we're gonna pick the fields. Remember the names that I said? This is where we're gonna look for those names. Uh, facility name is the first one that I picked. I'm gonna hit return, so I go a line down, hit return again. I'm gonna put city, state, and zip on the same line. So I use a comma and a space, then state, then space, then zip. Hit okay, and you should see everything populate with what would be, or what should be, the information. Now the information isn't gonna automatically come over from the Excel spreadsheet. We have to click on the finish and merge button in order for Word to go find the information. Once you do that, you'll see that the information will populate into the Word document automatically. I like to use edit individual documents because I wanna make sure that these are correct before I go and spend a bunch of money on labels. So you see all the information from my Excel document has come over. It's the information that I wanted. Now one thing I do do is I make sure that I print this on a regular piece of paper before I load the printer with label paper. That keeps me, well that allows me to proofread everything before I use a bunch of expensive labels in making errors. Alrighty, hey I hope you had a wonderful time and found this useful. Go mail merge.